Uh, so that, I mean, what is the answer then to all of this? I mean, do you see President Putin ever coming up uh, and facing responsibility for what he has done? Um, or does it require regime change before that can even be possible? Well, I'm sure it would certainly require regime change. I don't see President Putin changing, I'm afraid. After all, he lied extensively, denying that they had any intention of invading Ukraine. And he, lie, he lies equally in denying that Russian forces have, have committed any, any massacres and so on. So I, I see no hope there. Whether how, how long President Putin remains in power, no one can tell, I mean, given the way the Russian system operates. But for a man who spent his whole life in counterintelligence, he's probably protected himself pretty well. Mm. So how does the West respond to this then, these latest images? Truly shocking. I mean, it really does uh, mark a change, doesn't it? Uh, Forty days in, we, we've heard so much about the war crimes that have been alleged. We've seen the aerial footage, but now we're getting real testimony. We're, we're seeing for ourselves cameras are getting into some of these places like Booker. Uh, does the West need to step up sanctions, for example? What would you be advising uh, Liz Truss and Boris Johnson this morning? Well, I wouldn't dream of advising them, but it, um, I think that uh, quite a number of things need to be done. The pictures, the evidence of what Russia has been doing needs to be pushed out to people in, right across the world, including those who have been rather sceptical about criticizing Russia's in, invasion, who have been slow to accept the idea of sanctions and so on. They need to have the evidence actually rubbed in so they can see what they're condoning by not agreeing to sanctions and other things. Secondly, yes, of course, there must be more sanctions, and sanctions must be maintained um, for much longer and spread to, spread to more countries. Uh, there will always be weaker brethren who say, well, these sanctions are going to hurt us, um, so we can't go on applying them. That's got to be resisted until this conflict is brought to an end, until all Russian forces are out of Ukraine. I think the sanctions must, must continue, and so must efforts, which have been led by Britain, I'm glad to say, to supply military equipment to the Ukrainian forces to support them in their attempts to expel Russian forces. So there's a lot to be done, but it's heartening at least that Britain has been taking a lead.